In this video, I'm going to talk about how I built Topical Authority on twomen.it. If you don't know, I am still working for two men. I'm still doing the SEO for them, even though I've left the company, I am still doing the SEO for them. So basically, I want to talk today about Topical Authority and how you can build it. But the first thing I want to say is this is not easy and this has taken a year there are SEOs who get better results in shorter amount of time, et cetera, et cetera. But this is just how I do it. Now, 9.8 thousand impressions was an all time high with 200 clicks. That's 200 clicks isn't an all time high. It's like 300 clicks. But if I go on most recent date, you'll see that we've actually got 10.1 K impressions and 242 clicks, which is absolutely amazing. And if I sort it by impressions here, you can see that one of our biggest keywords is Kiton, which is amazing for us. Premiata sneakers, Brunello Cuccinelli, Kiton suits, Italian suit brands, cheap suit for funeral. I mean, just look at these keywords. They're absolutely crazy. Italian suits, Zapatilla Santoni, Tramarosa, Sartorio Napoli. These are all brands. These are all collections. Now you can make this apply to any website that you're working on. Okay. What you need to do is you need to create as many pages as possible. Now a keyword like Kiton is actually pretty competitive. If I go on Google and just type in Kiton, then you'll just see just how competitive it is. So first of all, we obviously have the brand itself and then we have YouTube videos and then the brand's Instagram and then Wikipedia, Wikipedia, and then Ukes, which is one of the biggest fashion companies in the world. And then Facebook, and then I suit here, which is cool. eBay, which is another massive website, Farfetch, another massive website. So you can see this is not an easy keyword to rank for. So the fact that we're even here, you just saw us there. So we're average position 17 right now, which is absolutely incredible. And this is a website that is only one year old. Now, the way that I did this was by creating topical authority, and I cannot stress enough how important this is. So let's just look at all of the things that I've done to build that topical authority. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create all of your category pages and all of your pillar pages. Now you can see here just how many collections I've made. There are literally 300 plus collections here. And every one of these pages is four or five pages because I am also translating into different languages. Once you've created all of the collections and you've uploaded all of your products. Okay. So obviously we have products because we're an e-commerce store. If you're, on e if you're not an e-commerce store, this is all still really, really relevant. You just have to make it apply to your business. So you can see, we also have a lot of product pages. These are all indexed as well. And then once you've got all of that, so let's just have a look at this. You want to put all of it in your header. So if I click on brands, you can see all of the brand pages are here. And then we have kit on bags, which is ranking on Google. So let me just show that. Let's just take this uh, page, click new page. Okay. This one is apparently not ranking on Google. <clears throat> one of the, a lot of them are that one is apparently not. Let's do kit on coats to see if that's ranking. Zero impressions, obviously. <laughs> Great. It's on sneakers. Let's have a look. These are all amazing keywords. If you can rank even like a little bit for these keywords then. So yeah, we've got five impressions here. Keyword kit on sneakers. Perfect. So this is still ranking. It's, it does take a little bit of time, but once you, once you've got all your pages, you want to try and put all of your important ones in the header. So I've got brands here. I've got clothing here, and then I've separated the clothing. So let's open four season suits. For example, let's see if this is doing anything. Maybe not. No. And then we have shoes and then we have accessories. Okay. So this is telling Google, when you put something in your header, you're telling Google that it's important to you. So you cannot expect Google to respect a page if you don't show that page respect. So for example, one thing that a lot of people don't do is they don't put their blog in the header, but I cannot stress enough the importance of actually doing that. So once you have got all of your pages, Okay. That is when you need to start writing content. Now this is super, super easy because now we can just use chat GPT to give us ideas for blog posts. So what I tend to do is I tend to use a keyword tool. Let's just use keyword tool.io. And then 
basically you can type in things like best suit four and then just see if there are any keywords here and then if there are you can put them into chat gpt and you can ask chat gpt perfect look best suit for wedding best suit for the money best suit for fat guys best suit for wedding guests best suit for hot weather i haven't actually written this this is a really really good one so what we can do let's just make sure custom instructions are turned off before i do this is i can say give me a blog post give me five blog post ideas for okay so once you have some let's let's just say we write this one right here okay all oh, this is actually pretty good too to be honest with you all of these are good you then need to write an article but in that article you need to make sure that you are leaving internal links to any important pages okay so a really easy way to do this if you followed my advice of putting everything in your header is you can just grab your own links so easily okay so let's click on let's click on brands here and then we'll go to the chevrons Click brands, click on the chevrons, and then click scraper links. I will leave a link to this in the description, but basically if, if you, it's called a bookmarklet, okay? So just go on your bookmark tabs and then click add new bookmark. And then as the URL, you want to put this information here. So let's click on edit. You want to put the, in the description, there'll be a link to a paste bin where you can get this code. Just put the code as the URL, give it a name. And then once you've scraped those links, you want to go to sheets.new. Hopefully you have a Google account. <laughs> and then basically that will give you all of your collections like that. So these are, this is enough collections, right? To write out this article because I'm writing about suits. So it'll link my brands plus my suit brands specifically. So you want to clean this data by deleting everything that isn't relevant and then click on find and then write the first part of your website like this, and then press replace all. These are now relative internal links, so we can put these into ChatGPT. Something that I've been doing recently that I really, really recommend actually is um, using Browse with Bing to, for it to understand your website. So I'm gonna say, please, please look at twomen.it and understand the website. Then we'll open another tab here. We'll get one of the blog articles from before. And this is just how you build topical authority. You create the pages. You don't have to worry too much about the SEO for like a collection page. So you can see here, this is all we have here. It's just a little description and we have the title. And then we just have as many products as possible on the page. That's literally it. And then also for products, like I'm not really that bothered about product SEO. We just have a decent product page short description this table is made by the team and then yeah that's pretty much it and then we have this 3d thing that um yeah that we have so the website to dot is dedicated to italian classic menswear okay perfect so i'm going to paste the internal links here and then let's just take this stay cool and classy so i'm just going to write my own prompt so write a an seo optimized article about Please use some of these relevant internal links to create an article. Use short and snappy sentences and break up walls of text with tables and lists. Don't use an internal link more than once and use a keyword rich anchor text for the internal link. Okay, this will now write an article for us. If you see that it's made a mistake, then you can pause it. So I'm just going to say, can you also use H heading, heading tags? Okay, so you can see it's now writing. And the beautiful thing about this is it's taking the context from these internal links here. So these are all of our brands. These are the most important pages. You can see from the SEO that I've done that the focus is very, very heavy on the brands. This is intentional because for me, ranking for Brunello Cuccinelli or Premiata Sneakers or Kiton or you know that kind of thing, 
these this is all from the topical authority play and also some help from craft as well craft are doing backlinks to kit on so we can attribute a lot of that or a decent amount of that to craft but something like premiata sneakers they're not linking to anything like that so this is topical authority and yeah this is my focus is the brands marco pescarolo sartorio napoli barba napoli tramarosa Keton. Premiata. And then you can just see that I'm doing a mix of topical authority. And everything I've shown you in the video is how I am doing that. Another thing I'm doing as well is I am using translation. So I use eTranslate. eTranslate Shopify app. It's this one here, eTranslate. You can add up to 20 languages. You do have to pay. I think we're paying $20 a month. We're paying this, which is definitely worth it, okay? Because it's it's having a big effect. So I'm going to say, can you expand on each section and also include all of the brands in a table at the top, which should be a key takeaway table. So I kind of want it to be a bit longer. It doesn't have to be massively long. It just has to be a tiny bit longer. And also I would like a table. So yeah, perfect. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to link these pages here. So I'm just going to say, um, can you link the brand in the first column? Then don't use that internal link again. So you do have to kind of play with ChatGPT. I do like showing this. A lot of people make videos where it's just perfect, like immediately. But you do, I, I do kind of like showing that you have to play with this. This is really cool because now it's showing like, each brand and what they sell, which is perfect. Now, please use this table to write the entire article. So just remember that al although we this is a multi-brand store, like you can just see where you, instead of brand, you could use category or you know product category or whatever it might be. It, it doesn't have to be a brand and then also if you're doing like a different type of website you just have to think about how to how to make this fit with your niche so something like this although it doesn't look like it's a particularly good article you can easily turn this into something that will rank on google so the first thing i want to try and this is experimental is i want to go to dali i want to say can you create some infographics that fit with this article and then also another thing that you want to do is I use an app called Hura Collection Embedder. And basically what this does is you take your collections and you embed them into the articles. Okay. So this is really, really easy. You just generate the code using the embedder and then you just go on the HTML on Shopify uh, and just press. So first of all, we need to turn it into HTML actually. So you can do it here. This is a perfect place to do it. So this is Hura, okay? And I'm going to do it directly in markdown to html.com. So let's just read this. Let's say material matters, okay? So finding the right material. And because this is an article about lightweight summer suits, probably we need some kind of lightweight summer suit material. We could just go for four season, to be honest with you. Or cashmere, definitely not. Let's just go for four season because you know four seasons fine and then press get code here control a and copy and then you can do control f and look for material matters here and then you can actually just paste it into the markdown and then if you click on the raw html you can see that it's been properly embedded here this is the embed so div class blah 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 and yeah, that's one way that I increase the rank rankability of an article. And then another way is using infographics. So I would download this. I would put this into Canva. I may as well show this just to make this a full tutorial, even though I've been showing this a lot recently. So you can press create a design here and then import file and then find that exact infographic and then use in a design, custom size, create new design. These are just the extra steps to make your content just a little bit more rankable. If you don't do these kind of things, there is a chance that Google will not index your content. 
they won't even look at it. And then we're going to press grab text here. Okay. This is Canva Pro. You do need Canva Pro for this. I would recommend having, if there were two tools, I would recommend it's Canva Pro and ChatGPT Plus. It's about $40 a month, but you can do basically everything with that. So as you can see now, we can actually just edit the text here. So let's just use the title of the article. A guide to lightweight suits. A guide to lightweight suits. This, this is all basically fine. You just need to change a little bit of the text to make it um, perfect. So this has three S's, for example. Linen or mixed uh, dress pants. Slacks. Let's just try slacks. Perfect. Um, full, full suit, for example. Hat for blocking. Dress hat or sun. Look at that. that. That's literally perfect. That's basically all we did. Now this is that you saw how quick that was. This is now an infographic that will help me rank on Google. So let's do this, copy this, and then we can just download this. And then, yeah, you can put this directly into your article. You can use this as the featured image, whatever the hell you want to do with it. It doesn't really matter, but you can see now it's actually just a completed, I might actually use this. This would take my team like an hour to make, or it would take me an hour and a half to make, and it would look nowhere near as good as this. So, I mean, just the fact that I could do that in two minutes now is an absolute game changer. So I'm actually just going to post this because I may as well, because it's now a completed article and I do need to write a couple of articles. So yeah, this is the Shopify add a blog post section and you want to put the HTML here. Make sure that it doesn't have to, so I need to talk about a few things actually that I, I don't mention enough. Number one is you need to, first of all, copy this title, put it here, and then just delete this one. The reason that we have to do that is because otherwise there are two H1s, which is not great for SEO. Then we need to check if the Hura embed is here. It looks like it is. We'll put visible, put this on journal. And then one more thing that I want you to check before you post is that there's no weird HTML. Sometimes just because of the nature of ChatGPT, there is just some weird HTML at the bottom which will stop you getting indexed and then add image. There we go. I may as well just put that image in as well uh, at the right point. So let's just go style and fit. Why not? It's just a really good image. So we may as well use it twice. Upload file and again. Click it. Give it an alt text, which is an infograph about lightweight suits and then insert may as well make the center and then this part here um is not that important okay I, I i should mention this more often but basically google will choose whatever the hell it wants but i do like to make the url a bit shorter so i'm just gonna say let's get rid of that so i'll just say guide to lightweight suits for men materials uh, no okay let's just go for men okay uh yeah you don't really have to edit this because google will just choose whatever it wants anyway and then now if i press save and then if we go on two men.it and scroll down we've now helped increase the topical authority further there it is it's live it's looking good i love that featured image scroll down we have the table, we have titles, we have, you know, the embed of the products, we have the infographic and we have internal links. That is my methodology. I really hope this video helps and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.